<laughs> Good evening. I'm so happy to be back. I was waiting for the little quote back there. You must act as if. Wait, that was too quick. You must <laughs> act as if it is impossible to fail. I love that. Yeah. Chandra <laughs> Thomas is in the house. Okay. Uh, built to be here. Oh boy, you're beautiful. Oh, you're, you're too sweet. No, come on. You look like an <laughs> actor, activist, performer, writer, director. I mean, yeah. you. I, I, can, can I introduce the sponsors first? Can we do that? The Mikos, the best Italian specialties. <laughs> George Santana, baby, I'm waiting for my coffee. I have my coffee, but I'm missing my mugs. <laughs> I miss my mugs. Uh, Madonia's Brothers Bakery. I want to say hi to my girls in the bakery. They're nice girls. They're so, so good. Mana, I remember her name now. Uh, Your Health and Caterina Lancova. Okay, so as always, I'm happy to be here. I'm glad that the weather is better. Yeah. Right? Hello. Hello. Yeah, I it was a little too cold. Yeah, right? A little too much. So finally, I can just, you know, I'm even wearing a little pink. This is red or pink. But I said, I need, I, I just, summertime is coming, so I have to celebrate, right. man. Oh, <laughs> man, this is so cool. Chandra, your name. Yes. Where is the name, your name, coming from? Chandra is, um, it's actually, uh, properly pronounced Chandra, it's Chandra. actually Sanskrit. It's an Indian, a name from India. Okay. Um, and it means, Chand means moon. So the name essentially means destined to outshine the moon. Okay. Yeah. So your mama, she knew what she was doing. She, <laughs> I guess you could say that. She often, you know, reminded me of that when I was younger, of like, this is what your name means. So yeah. there's a higher standard that you have to achieve, which, you know, has been sort of a life goal, of course, as well. Yes. I was, yeah. I was, uh, Chandra. I, 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 I don't dare to pronounce your name now. You see? <laughs> this is the, that's the problem now. Oops. We got, we, I have the lotion there for my hands. It's a little, they get a little too dry. Yeah. With the winter. With the cold, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So about your work, I was checking your website. It's quite impressive. Thank you. Your body of work, Thank stage you. work, mm -hmm. which to me is essential. We yeah. have Chris Fieri in the house. Yeah, Chris. My Yay. friend, the actor from Sweet Lorraine. He's here. He makes me happy. He makes me smile. Okay, we're missing Josh Santana, but what the hell? We're going to wait for the man. Okay. Stage work. Mm -hmm. Pretty impressive. Thank you. Okay. Film work, mm -hmm. TV, the HBO show? Yeah, yeah, just shot um, Too Big to Fail Too with big HBO. To fail. Yeah. Okay, yeah. how was the experience? Tell it was about great. It. I had a great time. Curtis Hansen, uh, Academy Award you know, winner for um, writing from a few years back, um, was the director and had such a great time. It was a great set. You know, it was, it's such an interesting subject. You know, it's about the economy melting down and like who are these key players you right. know, who are part of that. So it was an, a great, great, great time. Great time. James yes. Woods is, is in the show, yes. right? Yeah, He's such yeah. a great actor. I was yeah. With Danny, one of my boys in the control room, and he's an actor that he didn't have properly like training. Yeah, yeah. You know, and yeah. he's like he's done a lot of work. I remember when I saw him in uh, Once Upon a Time in America. Uh huh. One of those films that I love with all my heart. Absolutely, and, uh, absolutely. He was he's, he's a superb actor. He's yeah. so crafted. It's not about him. It's about you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, he's great too, though. He's, he's great. great. He's great. There's a lot of great <laughs> actors out there. So your upbringing. Can we go back? I always when I'm having actors. Um, I said, I like to go back to the first memory. Yeah. I, I want to go back to that moment. Your love for storytelling uh -huh. as well. Can, uh -huh. can we talk about that a little well, bit? Well, you know, I come from a family of just, like, inherent storytellers. Um, so, like, storytelling sort of started around, like, everybody got around the kitchen table, literally, and would, like, tell stories about, you know, their past or my past or, you know, just talk about politics and you're just talking and that sort of became you know just what I understood of the world it's like you tell stories you know what right. I mean like if I tell your, you my story you tell me yours then I have a clear understanding or a better understanding of you and where you're coming from and you know all those amazing things so that's sort of where it started so I come from a very like art, artistic loving but really like tech head family so I'm yeah. sort of you know the black sheep if you will of like <laughs> I actually do this you know it's a living <laughs> um, but that you know sort of always been part of just sort of the fabric of my life and my mom um, started taking me to shows when I was like four or five years old and you know just really to broaden my cultural perspective of the world you know Beautiful. all those kinds of things and you felt the connection right away you no 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 you didn't come out right off no actually no 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 no, no. I was like I'm gonna be a lawyer you know oh, that wow. was sort of yeah, yeah, that was where my head was. Um, and then I had just sort of one of those moments where I was like, no, an I epiphany. think it's really, yeah, an epiphany, exactly. Where I was like, no, I really need to be part of storytelling. And that's why, you know, I also write as a, work as a writer and as a producer as well, because it's about finding ways to tell as many interesting, unique 
stories that we haven't heard yet, you know? So right. that's what's so exciting. And that's what's so exciting about Sweet Lorraine, you know, the film that um, I worked on with Chris. with Chris. Yeah, written you know. by Chris, directed by Chris, also a Dama producer. Chris. I know. Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're so I, sweet. I, 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 I'm, I, you look like a Victoria's Secret. Band. But okay, so <laughs> right. how you got it, how you get to know Chris? How you guys met? So Chris and I, I, I don't know that it, there's, I don't know that there's the story there. I just, we did, you know what I mean? Um, Chris called me in for a, a meeting with um, the rest of uh, you know the sort of the production team, um, and had a great meeting with them. And he was like, uh, "You're my Twix," <laughs> which <laughs> was fabulous. Um, so I play this uh, you know sort of uh, undercover cop who's a uh, has the cover of a woman of the night. <laughs> so uh, I have this, you know, this, some great scenes with uh, Peter Green, who um, is... Oh, Peter Green is a superb actor. Yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah. tell you, he was so good. Yeah. He was here a few weeks ago. That's two what weeks I ago, hear. Two weeks ago. Yeah. He's one of my boys. <laughs> Very gifted guy. He's too down to earth. Yeah. Is he aware of his own talent? <laughs> Truly? Honestly? Come on. I know, I know, I know. So for how long you guys worked together with Chris? Like, so, um, so I was actually there for one day. So okay. I should you know, we shot all of our stuff in one day, and um, it was, you know, had a great time on the set. And Chris just, you know, was the the leader of the ship, you know, right. as as uh, is so needed. So yeah, and you know, it was such a fascinating experience working with with Peter. Um, you know, we we have when you see the film, you'll get to, to a better sense of uh, the kind of stuff we got to do. Yeah, and all these great actors, Tatum O'Neill. Yes, uh, Tatum O'Neill, Stephen Bauer. Yeah, it's a powerhouse cast. Yeah, it of is. course, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. So stage work, film work. TV. What do you enjoy the most? I do. I love all of it. You I really, do them all. I really do. I do it all. Um, I really do uh, love doing it all. I mean, being in front of camera, it just there's something that's just magical that can happen, yeah. you know, and that it can just be captured, you know, and and live forever. So there's something so special about that. And then of course is that beautiful experience of like having the immediate response, knowing that okay, right that was funny, you. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like that really was funny. They laughed, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Or uh, you can feel when the the temperature of a room changes because everyone's been so moved so touched by something so you know there's so many benefits to you know all of the work and I love I love Sissy, I love my job. <laughs> I, I love I what tell. I do. I really do. You're really. happy. You're happy in your own skin. Yeah. You kind of have to be. You're a Scorpio. I heard. Yes. Backstage. I'm a Scorpio. Okay. Yes, I am. You're a tough I cookie. I can see that too. <laughs> uh, yeah, you keep laughing. Look at that. Look at the logo. Isn't that nice? We're, we're showing the logo again. Yes. Isn't Fantastic. That cute? Look how cute this is. Yeah, no, I love, I love the yellow color. Like, yeah. You missed the ginger on camera. That's okay, baby. You're busy doing camera. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now, in terms of like the work writing, mm -hmm. I want to talk about your writing. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's pretty much how you decided to put things on paper. Because yeah. one thing is to to hear or to be on stage right. or in front of the camera, but just to work on a script or a play is a totally uh -huh. different story. It's a yeah. slow, slow process. It depends right? on the piece, you it know. Like on the piece. some things, you know, when you feel so inspired to just jump in, um, it comes fast. You know, I feel like the, the I'm working on a project right now that feels like it's taken a while uh -huh. um, to develop. But the piece that I worked on just before this, it felt really fast. You know, like because everything was really bubbling, was right there. It was a solo show um, yeah, that I talk created. About that. Yeah, you're, you're writing two solo shows or one? I'm writing. I, two. I've written one. one. I'm writing one. Right, another one right now. Okay, um, and based on. So the the one that I uh, I wrote and, and workshopping and sort of marketing to some people to to do here in New York um, is called a rhyme for the underground and I play uh, eighteen different characters um, and the whole idea is um, it's all they're all sort of connected through the subway you know like what's the biggest oh. you know connector of all of us right in yes. the city and um, it's this woman sort of figuring out you know sort of next steps in her life while she's interviewing all these different people and sort of getting you know fi sort of inadvertently finding out what she needs to get to like you know the next step in her life so um you know i get to play like the six-year-old little boy to the you know the the west indian housekeeper slash you know caretaker <laughs> to you know the the nigerian man who sells you know dvds on the street you oh, know like man. just the the full spectrum of just you know the beautiful color that is new york it's right new york is loaded it's, it's so loaded. loaded it's so loaded yeah. i can't get enough yeah i know exactly right? so that's you know exactly what the show sort of plays homage to and you know, really has this like beautiful poetry that's woven throughout the whole thing and song and dance and you know, all these things that like I don't necessarily always get to do, you know, so it's sort of fun to like 
well, I want to do it, so I'm put it in there. You know sure. what I mean? So that's fantastic. And then the piece that I'm writing right now that I'll be doing um, next month is uh, a, a really about father-daughter relationships, which is something that um, I've sort of, you know, been wanting to write about, but have been sort of like, oh, I don't know where to go with it. And so, right. um, that kind of that's, scary feeling. Yeah. Then, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's been really exciting. Um, and I'm excited about doing that piece next month. Nice. Yeah. And when you're writing, what at what time during the day do you like to sit down and write? What's the best time? What's the best hour? When? Yeah. How does it work for you? Right. It works differently for you every day? Yeah, it works differently each day, okay. but most of the time at the end of the day when I'm sort of decompressing, it feels uh, like that's at like... At the end of the day, I'm dead. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Well, you, you're such a little firecracker. I can understand yeah. that. <laughs> like, you just have so much energy. beautiful energy, so I can see that. But how we concentrate, that's the key. That's the key. That's the key. What's the biggest obstacle to actors are facing I think in our, our days because now it's like I tell you yeah. it's like so many things going on so much and it's but it's interesting and beautiful to see all mm -hmm. these production companies uh, and everybody's producing their own work yeah which is so crucial which is so crucial so crucial yeah mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. I mean is it better for all of us to work that way I think it's it the is. only way I think it, I think we have to you know yes. first of all the landscapes change so right. if we bemoan what it is or is not now right what does that really where does that yield us you know right um, I think it's so crucial that we create our own work you know right. as 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 and we have the platforms we have distribution we have you know what I mean we have the opportunity to like to do it so right. the world we has absolutely changed need to, if world has changed right and like a blink it feels like you it, know it doesn't scare you a bit no I mean, it's always changed. It was different, you know, it was different when whatever we thought was Norm five years ago was different <laughs> 10 years before that, you because know? Because now when you see, when you really think about it, all the submissions online, Yeah. right? Yeah. Five years ago, you had to use the stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I would go to the post office right. and write that. <laughs> and now it's so quick it's that you so just quick. get a submission mm. by email. Yeah, in seconds. In a second. Mm -hmm. So it's different now. It, it, it should be easier. But it's not. It's not. Well, you know, because then I feel like there's also that advent of people, everyone feels like they could do it. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Chandra. You brought that up to the table. Mm -hmm. There's something inside of all of us, to some degree, mm -hmm. in people's minds, people's minds, that they think that acting is something that everybody can do. Just like walk out their house and Just do it. Just like, mm -hmm. you, I see it because, you know, it's very interesting to me when I see, I don't know, beautiful models or uh, singers or, I don't know, like people who, we're not actors, right. which I don't care as long as if you have the gift, if right. you have the skill. And take the time to, to develop a craft. Right. Yeah. But acting is a craft, like yeah. you said, and it takes time. Yeah. And it's work and work and work. Yeah. And we are competing with with everybody. I mean, everybody wants to jump in the pool. <laughs> That's right. Right? I mean, who doesn't want to be a movie star? <laughs> right. Right. Who doesn't want to get a big check? Right. Honestly. Right. Right, right. Because that's what they see. But right, acting, and think it's easy. And it's not. It's not. It's not. Bless it, it's not. Uh, this is yeah. what we do. And you're an activist. Yes. Can we talk about that? Yeah, youth arts is really where my heart lies. Um, I co-founded a nonprofit organization to work with teen girls okay. um, called Vibe Theater Experience. And our whole mission is to empower teen girls through the collaborative arts. So our girls work together to create their own writing and perform it. Beautiful. And so it's really about reinforcing their voice. Of you know, Growing up in New York as a teenage girl, I was like, mm, there's so many things that I could do, you know, yes. that are <laughs> off the path, you know? Um, and I was really fortunate to stay on that path and so um, to be able to provide that kind of opportunity to other teen girls who really need you know a collaborative space where they can oh you going through that I'm going through that too let's talk about it yeah, yeah exactly it. And it's and needed, so, too. It is so needed. It's so needed. And so a lot of my um, sort of activist work really comes from finding ways to empower young people um, through arts, through the arts. Yeah. So it's like in terms of, like, your work, you're political to a certain degree. I can, I, you're not I, into politics, but I can see that you're political. Yeah, well, I think... To a certain degree. Well, I think we kind of all are, you know right. what I mean? Like, whether we... Because even if we decide we don't want to have a, a... We don't voice our opinion or we...